Welcome to Talking Beards, an entertainment news podcast all about the facial hair lifestyle and the people who use their beards and mustaches to help change the world. Join your hosts, World Goatee Champion Aaron D. Johnston and two-time National Goatee Champion Scott Sakura as they talk about all the important issues in the community from charity events, competition news, styling tips, breaking news, and much more. Tune in every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern as we stream live on all social media platforms as well as TalkingBeards.com and answer all of your questions. Join in our chat room and be a part of the show each week as we give away great prizes, compliments of Honest Amish. I am your host, Aaron D. Johnston, and I am Scott Sakura, and we are Talking Beards. Oh, hey, what's going on, everybody in Talking Beards world? Welcome to episode number 222 of the live show. This is the big 300 of the podcast. Tonight, we will have the one and only Mr. Sean Glander uh, live from his jail cell. And uh, <laughs> yeah, we're going to be talking about Beards on the Rocks. Uh, five? Is that right? Is it Beards on the Rocks? Five? Sanko. Man, that the beard calendar has six. That beard calendar people are really slacking these days. But <laughs> so yeah, that's what I thought. Beards on the Rocks five coming up uh, August fifth. We're a little early, but you know, Sean Glander's here. We're here. We're going to talk about Beards on the Rocks and and all kinds of stuff here shortly. But I'm Aaron D. Johnston. I'm over here, and uh, I'm wearing a yellow shirt tonight. That's all I got. He's like a hot dog. I'm I'm a hot dog tonight. Oh, I also have a broken toe probably on my left foot. That's and a and a yellow shirt. <laughs> and a yellow shirt. And I am Scott Sakura. Thank you guys all for tuning in to Talking Beards. Uh welcome to your Tuesday night dose of uh what's going on in the bearding community. Uh you can find out more about us by going to talkingbeards.com. And as Russ says here, hit, hit like. the like button. And since no one's congratulated or said anything about it yet we want to make sure everyone know that tonight is episode uh 300 did you move it three zero zero it's it's in there somewhere right there, yeah i moved it to the top. top so in celebration of our 300th episode and as russ says there we want you all to go over to youtube and subscribe now to talking beards yeah that would be the the nicest thing you could do on this 300th episode anniversary of the beardcaster slash talking beards go go do our YouTube stuff and hit yeah. bells and like it and subscribe to it and share it whatever wh- whatever the YouTube things go do yeah. all of them we, we want to really try to migrate as much of our stuff over to talking or sorry to our YouTube page just because YouTube's just way way better than facebook is now like just wow sorry i mean what are they gonna not show our video to any of the people that already follow our page well speaking of our video we we're live in belgium right now what do you think about that uh we're live everywhere in the world everywhere what's up jory thank you for uh the the stuff you sent us and uh hopefully you enjoy what is headed your way with marco but uh yeah we're here we're going to talk about uh, Beards on the Rocks and, Alan, and all, everything. You did it. You did it. What's up, Alan? Yeah. But anyways, uh, so if you need any more information about Talking Beards, who we are, what we did, what we all are about, go over to TalkingBeards.com. If you want to participate in our chat room, you can go either to our Facebook page or our YouTube page, maybe Twitter or Twitch if you feel like it. No one ever watches it over there, but... That's how you interact with us live on the show or just go to talkingbeards.com and you can just watch it right then and there. Eventually, we can pr- we'll probably be able to show the sh- show the show on threads, maybe. Yeah, I don't know anything about any of that stuff. There's a Talking Beards threads. Okay. So go go like it. I don't think there's anything over there, but go go do the threads thing. But uh, yeah, yeah, make sure you guys go, all go over to thebeardcalendar.com and uh, find out about all the great events that are going on nationwide, worldwide, all over wide. Um, support your local clubs or community yeah. and uh, make sure that you're uh, 
uh, going over to it. Once again, if you go and subscribe to our YouTube page, you're going to get bonus content over there, such as the July beard calendar video. Uh, and yeah, so, but then also last but not least, Kevin Henderson said this is the highlight of his week. Well, thank you, Kevin Henderson. Probably this moment too, when I talk about honestamish.com and uh, using promo code talking beards to get 15% off your order. Free shipping over $35. Free shipping. Continentally, Scott Sakura. We're not going to, for. there's no free shipping going to Belgium. Sorry. Not, no Jory. intercontinentaling. No. And Jory's yeah. going back to work. Have they fun don't call work. it the internen- intercontinental house of pancakes. <laughs> nope. <laughs> they don't, but they could. It would still they, be an I. Hey, remember they, when IHOP was going to be IHOP? Remember that? Inter- International, International House of Burgers. Burgers. Yeah. The no, burgers I don't remember that. Good. They were. I'm glad it didn't stick around. I'm they glad. were put a burger patty between two pancake patties? No. Oh. But I've had a I've had a sausage and biscuit like that between two little pancakes. I was pretty good. Little pancakes. Yeah, little pancakes with a sausage. Is that your it? rap name, Little Pancake? Little Pancake. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh. That so, uh, you, you've been sick all week. How, uh, how are you feeling now? Oh, well, I feel much better. Uh, this weekend, I think I was out in the sun too much and I got a little bit of sunburn, nothing that would have like, I mean, that I'd normally get, but, uh, I started feeling kind of icky on Sunday and, you know, it's 104 degrees down here and we go in the pool and I'm freezing in the pool I get out and I just can't get warm, throw a sweatshirt on. I'm like under the blankets and like took my head to temperature. My How long were you in the pool? How long were you out there? You think uh, an hour and a half on Sunday. That's, that's it. Yeah. I was out and I did an hour by myself on, on Saturday, but I was um, sitting in the shade though. Okay. But I guess just enough. But yeah, so I had an upset stomach and everything. My head, really bad headache. Um, it's called a McGriddle. Nah, it's not. No. I, I I know what a McGriddle is, and and this was this was definitely not that. McGriddles are super good, but this I was legit talking about little pancakes, not a McGriddle, not fake little pancakes. Anyway. Make sure you go subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you're going to get all night. <laughs> YouTube, go subscribe now. Click now. That or you can wait till after the show. Help or- us celebrate episode 300 by helping us get 300 new subscribers tonight. Yeah, let's do it. Let's have all the subscribers tonight. Get all your friends to subscribe. Make them go yeah. subscribe your friends. You remember how you oh. could like, mm-hmm. you just put your friend's name on a mailing list. Did you ever yeah. do that? Do that. I do so I do that now when we go to like NASCAR races and stuff. You'll all you'll have to always fill out all these questionnaires to get like a free shirt or whatever. And uh dude, I don't know how many times I've I've put friends' phone numbers down and email addresses. So one one email address that I always put down because I really wanted Aaron at Yahoo.com or Aaron Johnston at yahoo.com that's how i ended up with aaron d johnson so i always put those email addresses so make sure they get all the spam like i load those guys up aaron at yahoo.com gets all the nascar spam (laughs) you're a yahoo you're a yahoo your face is a yahoo speaking of yahoos there's a dre glander she's here look at what happened here somebody subscribed twice wow thanks alan alan eckert but yeah grab your kid's phone Use it. Yeah. There you yeah. Go. I mean, how many devices do you have in your house? You can yeah. make up 35 different accounts. Yes. Sun poisoning. Keep... That's what we thought it was. That's Kevin, the, thank you. That's what you thought it was, Scott. That's what yeah. you told me. You're like, I have sun poisoning. Yeah. I mean, but I, like I didn't get any, bl- I didn't blister or anything. I mean, I'm just, it just made you sick, man. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This reminds me of something that I just saw in the news. There was a big news article, but I'm going to show you this. Okay. May I ask who founded Honest Amish? His his name is Wolfgang. The is end. It? The end. So there was a study that I heard that came out about um, the health of the Amish community. Okay. About how um, it, it's something to do with Amish children 
there's no autistic Amish children. Um, there were two other things too that were just like holy crap. But basically, what it boils down to is their the way they eat, the way they live. They don't eat anything with preservatives. It's they our food. Use, they don't use any mm-hmm. type of products that aren't mm-hmm. like handmade, homemade, or whatever. So anything that they're putting on or in their body is all natural, all homemade and stuff. And I'm like, what a testament to what honest Amish is, because that's all, yeah. basically what, what the whole gist of, Oh, come on. Really? It just wants to be blurry. There it is. Um, what the whole gist of honest Amish and their products are is to, to have that old school, honest or the, uh, the old school, like Amish formulas and use all natural and great products. I mean, yeah. And that's, that's the point, you know, all natural, great product. And that's, that's what we do. And that's what Amish people do to themselves. Like you said, with their food and stuff. And uh, yeah, I've, I've said that all along. That's why we've got like autistic kids and cancers run rampant. And that's and what it was. It, lo- it was, yeah, the it's, lowest, it's the crap we eat, man. hundred percent. Yeah. 100%. Lowest cancer rate, uh, lowest, um, well, what was the other thing I said? Oh, autism rate because mm-hmm. they don't have it. And then there was one other major thing that was just like, or the, something to do with their health care. Like they very rarely do they have or in the hospital. But I take that back because I every time I used to go to the hospital, it was like full of Amish people. But that's because it was the only hospital anywhere near the Amish community. So, but Alan Eckert says, don't eat it. Don't eat the soap. You will fart bubbles probably. Maybe. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Or not. You might not. I don't know. What else we got going on? Well, what about you? I mean, I talked about me being sick all weekend. What about you? Yeah. I was, Other than I was, you broke your foot and you look gosh, like a hot man. dog. What, what, a, what a disaster of a couple of, of a day, really. Um, yeah. So late last week, I, I woke up with a head cold and uh, I went to the beach and woke up in Daytona this weekend and voila it was all better i don't know if it was like a pollen allergy thing or whatever but i felt a lot better after i I got away from our house so i'm thinking i'm thinking pollen for sure So maybe you were i was going to ask if you were allergic to sand but you don't have Mm -hmm. sand at your house i do i do have sand in my backyard it's very sandy where we live i didn't know if you knew that i did not know that yeah uh, but yeah, no, I went to the beach, felt a lot better. I uh, went and saw our buddy Marco. He, uh, he's part of bearded bee care. How did you had... find him? Who Marco? Yeah. I just yelled Marco and he said, Polo. Okay. And I went and found him. I do that. Yeah. That's uh, but be. yeah, we went and saw one of our, uh, Belgium, uh, distributors over there and he was in Orlando with his family. So I figured I'd go down there and, you know, talk to him and stuff. And uh, that was our weekend that we really didn't do much, kind of wandered around Orlando and then we're, we're back home and here lately, my phone has been acting up and I could, I could beat it on something and then it would fix it. Well, today, lo and behold, I was talking to Sean Glander when it really started and uh, it just kept like, kept saying no SIM and I could beat on it and it would come back and then it, it happened one more time and it just didn't ever come back. So I don't have a phone and that's been pretty fun day um and then right before the show i think it was right after scott popped on i went and wandered around the house looking for the cat and i I stepped on my foot weird or something and i almost fell down the stairs it was super close i stepped on my foot pretty sure i broke my left pinky toe um i grabbed the handrail weird and i hurt my shoulder and uh, fell on his wiener (laughs) (laughs) yeah i did and no, I I didn't. But I, so yeah, pretty sure I have a broke pinky toe because one foot when I close it, all my toes do this. My left foot, I close my toes, and my pinky toe just sticks out. That's like my <laughs> hands. I know, but you like this? Ha! Huh. Look at that. That's pretty good, dude. That's the culprit right there. That's the only one that's not working, but it's so darn close. Does you do you get pain right here? Does it burn no. right here? It's all like it's literally all in that knuckle. So you don't get pain right here ever. No, that's been my hot new thing too. I guess that's just part of getting old. I think I have carpet tunnel. I think that's what it's called. That's when you roll the carpet up and you climb mm-hmm. inside it. Yeah. That's I think that's tunnel. right here. I think the carpet tunnel is messed up right here. 
Yeah, but anyway. Andrea says getting old sucks. Dude, you're not freaking lying. It's so dumb. It's anyway. like literally like 38 past. After 38, it's over. Yeah, it's over. over. Done. Just S- call, speaking, cal- speaking of calling. being old, do you want to talk to Sean Glander? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I hear he just turned 509 years old. 500. They, and they call him Mr. 509 now because that's how old he is. Or that's so, how many more years he has to serve. Wow. He's halfway through 509 of 509. So uh, let's get this going. So tonight we have from Spokane Valley adjacent area up there near Spokane, Washington. But no, this is the valley of it. So it's a little better. Um, Yeah, he's putting on the fifth annual Beards on the Rocks. And uh, yeah, it's going to be at the Storm Norman's Ship Face Saloon, just like last year. He has a lot going on with this event, and we're we're going to get into it. And, and we're going to subscribe. And we're going to subscribe now to Talking Beards on YouTube. And Sean Glander. Oh, hey. Go subscribe now. Don't worry about me. Get your subscriptions in. <laughs> Apparently. That's what we're doing tonight, Sean Glander. You Damn better subscribe. Right. It's a it's a subscription push. Let's go. It is. What's up, All buddy? How's he doing? Subs. Good. How are you guys doing? We're better now that you're here and you have internet and and you're you're in jail. Uh, your your paint your pictures are lined up. Of, yeah. I'm kind of like a jail. So it looks like it. Like, it definitely with your one piece of artwork on the wall. Yeah. Except for the one piece of artwork is like playing cards and you're not allowed. I heard you're not allowed to play cards like poker in jail. You know. I bet you if you lift those things up, there's a hole in the wall. Yep, and you can climb through and you can get out. You'll so, end up on a beach. so where I am right now is literally in the what do you call it? The cage or whatever, like of a casino. Okay. So players and spectators, where we're having the main event on August fourth, is uh, it was was a casino at one time. And I'm back in the the cage, you know, where the where you would exchange your your money and stuff. So, so. are there still casinos in the Spokane area, or oh, is yeah. that something? Oh that yeah, became... there's casinos all over, but oh, I didn't. But know. This I is know not that. one. <laughs> it used to be. It did. It used to be Aces Casino. So tell everybody who you are and uh, why we're having you on the show tonight, Mister Glander. Well, hello, everybody. I am Sean Big Sexy Glander, Mr. 509 in the cornhole world because I own 509 bags. Well, there you um, go. And I am a part of Spokane Beard and Mustache. I'm a part of Beard Mob of Washington. I'm a part of Talking Beards, the club. You are. And, you know, a lot of cool, fun stuff. You know, Craft Whisker Club, all that kind of awesome stuff but you're just involved what i with really everything. like to do is raise money for charity well you're going to be doing that on uh, i am what august 5th here at the uh storm and norman's ship face saloon so uh <laughs> the ship face saloon the ship we are. Fa- that's i love the name of that place <laughs> i do that's why we went pirate themed <laughs> you couldn't really let that one slide when the 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 bar in the center of the of the place is a giant ship. So that makes sense. Yeah. Well, so is what it like a schooner or like an oil freighter? Uh like a definitely not canoe? an oil freighter. I am not I am not like all up on my ship names right now, so I'm not familiar with schooner, but sounds like something in SpongeBob. SpongeBob. So you so you brought up cornhole. You brought up Mr. 509. You make cornhole bags now, so you've... Uh, I do. How long, how long has this uh, adventure been going on? I really don't remember. Just like... <laughs> so, a, a little bit. I mean, over a year, probably, that I've been get, that I've been doing it. Um, probably four or five months that I've been very, like... I've got a product mm-hmm. we're selling now. So, yeah. so, so you, you really just, when you get into something, Sean, you just absolutely get in it. Like you, you were doing, you're still doing big, sexy beard brand. You we are, are. Uh, you, but no eight by 10. That's Good the best Lord. part. Uh, no, I don't Gary. I don't. You, 
freaking Gary's enough. the you, best. You derailed the whole show, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> that was partially me, too, because I uh, didn't have to put that anyway, up there. So, yeah, so you did the uh, Big Sexy Beard brand, and then you you really got into beard competition stuff, and, and now you're yep. doing the, the cornhole thing. So, like, what all do you do with the cornhole community up there in Spokane Valley? So, I started playing cornhole literally out at the lake and just playing with, you know, just regular people thinking I was good at cornhole. And then we got done uh, with lake season. It was like September. And my buddy told me that they did this cornhole stuff in inside at players and spectators here in the Valley. Big place for that. And so I came down here, checked it out and Holy crap. Yeah. I haven't left. So now you're hooked. I am, but the, and I also help run a, uh, a, a cornhole club, 509 cornhole. And there's, there's lots of, of local little clubs, cornhole clubs and stuff that put on leagues and, and put on other drop in events. And I just found such a, uh, I found such a, go ahead, Scott. Do you, do any of these, uh, cornhole, uh, groups put on any type of charity beard competitions? Beard? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> Not they can yet, put on but charity they put cornhole. on charity cornhole competitions <laughs> that in association great... with a charity beard competition. <laughs> God, this all fits together like a puzzle, doesn't so, it? Isn't it crazy? It almost you'd think it'd be turned into like a Facebook show and a podcast or something. Oh my gosh! So you is this is this going to be part of your event that we stumbled across here? The main event, August the 4th main is... the main event is the is the meet and greet for beards on the rocks and, and it looks yes, like a charity a, cornhole uh, tournament as well it is a charity cornhole tournament oh my gosh and the like next it says on there to bring your own partner we'll have an upper lower upper and lower bracket so people that have never played cornhole before do not need to be afraid of coming and playing cornhole because there will be all different skill levels and even younger people and just everything. So you come on out, basically you're supporting charity. We're going to have raffles. We're going to have uh silent auction items. We're going to have all kinds of just like just everything you see at a beard comp. We're going to see here at, at the Cornell tournament. My gosh. So how exactly will this tournament work? So I don't, I'm not, so, I'm not hip on, you know, cornhole tournament so i don't right. i can't just say we're doing a cornhole tournament how's it gonna work well what's well, you know so how's this thing go you're going to either follow the the little step-by-step procedure thing i did put on the event page for the main event okay. and get yourself pre-registered and get your partner registered with you so your team is already registered on scoreholio or we are going to do that at the door <laughs> for you so yes, what is score holio? Yeah, that was my question. Yeah, yeah. Is that like FHL. I figured like that cornhole? would only be the next appropriate step. <laughs> is that what it is? Is like FHL. So it, it, score holio is a uh, a free app that you can get. I mean, you can pay a dollar ninety nine a month if you want to, like me, to get statistics and stuff. Like on you it. do, probably. Right. You pay the dollar ninety nine a month. I do though. pay the I know, dollar. I know you do. <laughs> You're like, I need to know the statistics. <laughs> I I I hang my head every time I look at them, but I do like looking at them. <laughs> but yeah, so you get on score Holio. It's a free app. You can make a free profile. I showed on there how you can search the event, the main event. You can register for the main event. No, no money is to be paid on the app at all. You just, uh, uh, pay money at the door. And so you just register, you get your partner to register right after you and either look for you and like, say join team or whoever goes first, you know, if not, if you just want to get on there even and say, Hey, I need a partner, go find that post on the event page. We'll find you a partner. If you don't want to do the score holio part, we'll hook you up when you get here and you can still be part of this great event benefiting to the two BU youth ranch. So is it going to be the same charity that you're raising money Friday night and Saturday night? It is. They all, uh, both, both events are, are benefiting the, the 2BU Youth Ranch. Tell us about this charity. How'd you get hooked up with them? Um, I've been hooked up with this charity for 
two, three years now. Uh, we raised money for them. We, we actually had a beard competition called the main event as well. And then we raised, we raised money for them last year at, at Beards on the Rocks. And we decided to make them our charity again this year. They are a, uh, a youth, youth horse ranch that uh, gets, gets kids, you know, youth, teens back on track, back on, back on, uh, you know, a, a way of life that's going to lead them to successful places, you know, you know, teach them about, you know, caring for, for something other than themselves, teach them. I mean, animals teach a lot, animals, especially big animals. The fact right. that you are helping take care of something way greater than you, I think really puts a lot of stuff in perspective. You know what I mean? So whether you went down a path of being, I mean, here we are, we're on, we're on talking beers, right? We're not there on their, their charity page. So whether you're being like a little shit in life or what, you know, and you just need a new place, you need to find your way. You are this lost. Two be you youth ranch will get you there, huh? Yes. They'll get you. They'll get you out of the shit by shoveling shit. Hey man, yeah, sometimes that's what you gotta do. That is not that is not their official motto, by the way. It could I, be. I, <laughs> yes. So yeah, great charity. Um, great to have support. I have support of um other local cornhole clubs around here, like Spokane Cornhole. Um, they're also very, very local with us. Uh Green Bluff Cornhole is just literally 15 minutes north. And Ursa Day is 15 minutes across the border in Post Falls, Post Falls, Idaho. So we're all so coming in, together. Go it, ahead. Do, do any of these cornhole guys have beards? A lot of them. And do, I am hoping many gonna, of them show up. So, or Is that the plan? Is a bunch of these cornholers yes. going to? Heck yeah, man. I like yes, that. Yes, we should have quite a few participants that come from the, the, the cornhole league. There, I mean, it is, it is hard, you know, it's summertime. It's hard to hit and miss anything. Uh, there is another charity cornhole thing going on on Saturday as well. Okay. In, in well, so it, it, might rob, it might rob a few beards, but you know, I mean, <laughs> so, but yes, hey, Scott. so we have the, the cornhole tournament. We, uh, and then that's going to lead Russ right into Saturday. Right. <laughs> what are you, what are you doing? Me? Oh. Yeah. You're doing something. I can tell I see it in your face. You're doing something. <laughs> Ow. He's been, he's been a little too quiet for too long. I, I, I just I just, toe. I, I just kicked my desk with my freaking toe. God. You don't have to raise your hand for that. <laughs> <laughs> that hurt a lot. I'm yeah? pretty sure my, my you should, mad. You should really did, pop did you get that, that part of the story Sean? back in place. Did you did you hear when I about fell down the steps a minute ago? That oh yeah, no, I heard all about <laughs> your awesome little trip you took. God, I about did. <laughs> yeah. I almost fell down our steps. <sighs> Not anyway, so we're doing cornhole on Friday night. We're doing this thing. We are. And fifty percent of charity. all proceeds. Fifty percent will go out to pay, to players. Fifty percent to charity. Well, okay, fifty cool. fifty raffle or fifty fifty air mails. Uh, Raffle money will will go to the charity and stuff like that. So, so you're doing silent auction and raffles Friday night. Are, Correct. Does that mean you're not doing auctions and raffles on Saturday, or is this going to be? That does a, not mean that at all. We are. Oh have, we will God. have other silent auction and raffle uh, prizes at Beards on the Rocks as well. I bet you got stuff piled everywhere right now. We have a lot of stuff and we are still gaining stuff. So yeah, stuff. Yeah. So how, how are you, uh, how's these raffles going to work? Are you getting the, uh, the one roll or the one thing where it's like one number and then a bunch of numbers, you just doing the, the whole, the old school, just the roll of tickets. Is that what you're doing? We're going to roll a freaking tickets and you're going to put your tickets in a cup. In front of the you prize go. you want to win. Just like that's perfect. Yeah, I like that. Is, I like this. <clears throat> so yes. it, in my opinion, it's the best way to go because a lot of people only want to buy raffle tickets for what they want to win. So there you go, man. Just buy all the tickets for your one thing. Go ahead, that's Scott. A, that's a good yeah, strategy. Yeah. 
Go right. ahead, Scott. Well, no, you're you're. I was making a comment. About Thank you, the, Scott. Uh, I I appreciate I appreciate that. I I just you really, know I just I thought you were ready to debut your your thing that you're working on there. But okay, Sean, is it on. true? I'm scared. That you, I'm scared. Me too. Is it yep. true that you're going to be starting a new podcast coming up here? If, Maybe. if you're having a hard time, let me just help you out. Yeah. <laughs> Talking cornhole. There it is with Sean Glander. The hottest, newest show that Sean didn't even know he's going to do. Remember that time you did uh, Talking Crypto? That was a good show. Yeah, right. You remember <laughs> You remember when I tried to launch that show at the beginning of a bear market? <laughs> <laughs> it went well. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, you know what? what Guess what we have on, for Beards on the Rocks? We have what do you have for Beards on the Rocks, Sean Glenn. We have judges. Oh my gosh. Do you want to talk about some of these judges? We should talk about some of these judges because when you come up to show your amazing beard off or your created beard or your, which is also probably amazing. So I guess I shouldn't have taken that adjective away. But um, uh, when you come up, you're not just going to be just showing the whole crowd. You're going to be showing five fantastic judges your beard. And That's exactly how many of the number of competitions you've had. What there's five judges, five competitions. What else is there five of? Well, well, we everyone have had five competitions, but but we're not having five competitions all at the same you, time. You can. You don't know. I mean, I guess we could. We're ha- we're kind of having two, right? Even though one yeah. tournament. You're three so away, man. You you can do this. Yeah, right. Anyway, yeah, who's I your know. first judge there, Sean Glander, for Beards on the Rocks? My uh, first judge is a local lady who is okay. super awesome. Her name is Shauna Rostel. Rostel. She is mm-hmm. from mm-hmm. Slick Nick in the Uppercuts, and she is. Super excited to be part of this whole event and the cornhole tournament ahead of time. And you all will love to have her judging your, your facial hair. So. Is she going to be? Yeah. Why? Why? Cause yeah. she's awesome. Just a super rad person. Uh, very great. We've become very great friends, her boyfriend and my wife and I, we, it, they're right. Have we sing together? What's that? Do you guys finish each other's sentences? Sandwiches. No, no we don't. Sandwiches, maybe, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you got Shauna. She's a, a super we do awesome, have Shauna. amazing judge. Who else do we have? Um, Next, I mean, I don't know. Where you guys have. It doesn't really matter, right? So out of Portland with the Portland Beardsman, we have another great friend of mine, Miss Madeline Welch. We saw her for a second, but <laughs> she's back. There she is. Yes. And she is also super awesome for all the aforementioned reasons that Shauna is. And she does this, you know, stuff herself too, you know, with the Portland Beardsman. She also raises money for charity and she's a whiskerina. And her husband and son are extremely awesome. And we're super happy to have her here as a judge for Beers on the Rocks. Nice. Says he says it with an angry face. Yeah, he's pissed about I it. Do but not. No. He's happy. He's <laughs> mad and happy all at the same time. That was my exclamation <laughs> face, I guess, probably. Oh, okay. That makes sense. That's your exclamation point face. So who else do we have, Sean Glander? Hmm. Next, let's say out of Vancouver, BC. With okay. the Vancouver facial hair. Um we have Andrew Cole. Mr. Andrew Sorry, Cole. Sorry, I didn't know if I was waiting for the picture to announce it. or you? No, were man, I, I don't know either. You just, you just do your thing. Right. And we'll just so, yes, happen. Andrew is from the Vancouver Facial Hair Club. And nice super mustache. awesome. Great freaking mustache. Kind of the Pacific Northwest. He is definitely, if not the king of mustaches, he is one of a couple up here that have ruled for quite a while. The wow. king of the stashes. He is, I like if it. not, if not pretty, pretty close to tied of king of stash in the Pacific Northwest. Because you're definitely the king of the stashes up there, Sean Glander. We all know that. <laughs> Remember that time you didn't have a mustache? You should do I that do. again. 
That was a good time. I have a I have a national title because of getting rid of that mustache. See? So I'm pretty stoked. All right. So we got Andrew Cole. Who else do we have after Andrew Cole? After Andrew Cole, we have from the Western Washington villains, we have Chris Carpenter. Oh Mongo. Goodness. Look at him. That is a beautiful beard. Mongo has been uh, my go-to alternate judge every year. Like he is always here. He's the man. We both kind of got into bearding together around the exact same time. We met at the meet and greet of both of our first comps and we've just been buddies ever since. And I'm super stoked that he's actually, he is not a backup. He is on the panel and he, he deserves is, he every is, bit of it. He is a real judge. He, he's tagged in this year and, and he's on the bad. starting team. He's a cool dude as well. All yeah. these people are super awesome. Except for your last judge. Ah, uh, man, you reminded me that we have one more. <laughs> you got one more. Also, equally as awesome. Some might Barely. even call absolutely fabulous. He <laughs> might be. John Fabula. No. Oh, my um, gosh. He's the West Coast Beard Mob president. He is from the L.A. Social Club. He is, well, I guess he's not a whole lot in uh, the California Beard Mob anymore because he literally runs the whole thing now. Because <laughs> so. everyone's moving out of California. And the only the only reason Fabs gets yeah. to come is because we invited his beard and the beard said he could tangle off. So. Nice. Well, yes. that's good because he has a fantastic beard. We like Well, and that. everybody knows the beard runs the show at this point. That's for sure. Everybody knows that. Yeah, yes. even Russ does. Yeah, even Russ. Look at that. Great pick, says Russ. <laughs> he gave you two fires. Right. Two fires. Two fuegs. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. You got a, a nice a panel fuego. of judges. Uh, you got yes. a, a good we a charity. Nice you, you're taking over the whole whole venue this time, right? Because last year, wasn't it, there was like another event yep. going on at the same place or something? Yep. Last, last year was uh, Storm and Norman's yearly uh, party for, you know, creation <laughs> their their birthday <laughs> Just, party yeah their, their birthday party <laughs> so um they moved theirs because of a big um concert going on in the middle of the state that's i'm assuming they wanted to go to as much as most of the people like most of spokane will probably go to watershed but, um it kind of a bummer, bummer deal that we <laughs> that that just happened to fall on our weekend. We announced ours first. They didn't even bother calling. So Watershed didn't, I guess them, didn't care. Them and the twenty some country artists that are booked did not really give a lot They're of. Crap like, you know what? We're going to go up against Beards on the Rocks five, and it's going to be yep. okay. Said Watershed. <laughs> yeah. They're all right. So. But um, all upon that, you know, not only that, we have great freaking raffles going. We have great silent auction pieces. We also have an amazing MC. Who the best? Who MC. could be? Who could be the best MC that you could get? Well, I don't even have to say it's the best MC because she's already been deemed the best in the world in the bearding community at the moment. M so, MC Little Pinky. Miss Natalie Johnson. Oh. MC she Little is. Pancake. <laughs> <laughs> little Pancake? I guess. I it ain't like Gangsta Nat Nat no more. <laughs> I think it is gang, Gangsta Nat Nat, but I That's like Little gangsta, Pancake. Gangsta, yeah, no. Oh, sorry, I put that first G, that second G in there. You can't put the second there, G in there. There is there is no second G. It's only an N. Gangsta. Gangsta Nat Nat. Gangsta um, Nat Nat. This, this lady right pancake. here. That one. Though... The so I see it typed. What is the official best of or best in? I don't know. It's both. okay because I see it typed a million different ways, and I feel like I always say it wrong. But bottom line, I always she's the best in the world. Best in show, but I say um, best in show. But every time I say bin, everybody or sorry, bis, everybody's like, "What? 
You know, what would you I, say, Scott? Yeah. Score up best in show or best of show? Best of show says dogs to me. <laughs> oh well, I mean, because technically, someone could have probably scored higher than her in a specific category, so that person would have a higher score. So she wouldn't be technically the best of the whole entire thing. She get out of the winners, she is the best. So best of show. So what so we've decided to drop it all and just call her the best? Best. Yeah, she's the best best show. Yeah, best of the best. best so we have the, the best. best in the world MC. So. There you go. Miss Natalie Gans the Nat Nat three little pancake run- Johnston. This is through our third year. And did you know that her rate also went up by 25% too after yeah. that big win? Yeah, that's <laughs> You didn't factor that what? one, did you? Her big rate. win, her her rate went up. It's costly. I now. thought he said her weight went up, but I'm like, that's freaking rude, dude. <laughs> rate. 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 What rate? What does that mean? Yeah. Oh, you know. No. You know. Oh, you know. We're she, not gonna explain she, that. Okay. She expects three mac and cheese re- meals a day. No. Okay. Oh, delivered I see. to her. Yes. <laughs> there you oh. go. It was a joke, Sean Glander. Yeah. Good lord. No, yeah, hold the you. onion rings. No worries. No worries. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Drea already has a list a mile long <laughs> shopping list that we're doing that she has been coming up with. So she can't wait for this comp. You should come. She should. There you go. Alan Eckert says BIS tattoo makes it official. Mm hmm. His tattooed on my arm makes it a fit. Oh, so bit there. That's what. Okay. I did them backwards. Eh? Cause uh, I was going to hit that one. And the latest one came in fast. I'm not, right. I'm not going to lie. If I ever got best in the show somewhere, I would literally tattoo it on myself. Alan Eckert well. did. So. He's got a you, few. You should, you should get best in show tattooed on you. Scott Sakura. I know. For, well, I got my big trophy back there. You should this get one. it on your neck, which is pretty rad. Like right, it could start Ooh, here. That'd be pretty good. Kind of go this face. way. <laughs> just, just do it like a teardrop. Just be a little tiny best in show. I don't abbreviate stuff. It's going to be all written out. So what in else do we have? Fans. What else do we have going on, Sean Glander? So we we got the event on Friday, full on pre party cornhole tournament, the whole shebang on Friday event on saturday do we have anything going on on sunday yet? we do we just haven't really announced it and got a time together but there will be a uh uh whatever you want to call it hangover like brunch uh, farewell <laughs> brunch whatever and it will also be at storm and Normans. and that'll be sunday we morning. just we're trying to we we haven't exactly reached out for the time yet i know last year people complained about my time yes mr sigour at- Asking for a friend. Um, yes. Is there any uh, local uh, donut cuisine in your area? Many. My Actually, my daughter works. We're, we're covered. My daughter works for a donut shop. She works at a donut shop, Scott Sakura. She works so she'll be at bringing a donut home shop date. called Rise. <laughs> wow. Like Rise Real. earlier or something. Right? She, she got that job. Just so when I come up there, she can bring home she donuts did. to me. That's, and she's that was kept it. it. Yeah. She's kept was- the, the, the job for <laughs> since you were here last time. And she's still, I know she was it, like, so he, he's, he's going to be right. back. I she have running to. The she wants to quit so bad. And she's but just she- like, nope, Aaron needs donuts. I can't do this. I appreciate it. Yeah. Gosh. <laughs> Yeah. So, so I don't know what's going to happen maybe next year, but this year she's still like, I got to bring him donuts. So. What's the name of this donut place? <sighs> Drea, are you there? <laughs> rise. <laughs> rise something. Rise. Rise. Duncan, rise, espresso. Duncan. rise. Your daughter rise has worked espresso? there for over a year and you do not well, know was, the name of this establishment. Excuse me, when do she, you know what your daughter's name is? It, it was called when you came into town, it was called Scrum Diddly Umptious Donuts. I like that name. Yes. We're gonna call but it, they that. Changed it Scrum Diddly Umptious <laughs> Donuts. The new owners didn't like it and they changed it. Good well, for it them. Is, I like these is, new owners. 
yeah, these new owners are dumb. Shut up, Aaron. <laughs> They're good people. Well, I like the old name. Sean They're knew trying it. Trying to make a living making donuts the new, for the people. The new name was a lot better. But if if Emma's bosses are watching this tonight, um, em, <laughs> these are not Emma's <laughs> oh. thoughts. By any means. These are no, awesome. she loves your establishment of a new <laughs> donut. She is place. not getting ready to quit. She is literally going to make a Melissa Parkinson is declaring that this is the dumbest show ever. She yeah, she said, said Sean Glander dumb. is super dumb. She said, Wow, wow, wow. That I was thought me, we Melissa. Were <laughs> things know, change. Yeah, things change. Just like donut right. shop names. Yes. Oh, so um, do you have a craft battle going on Saturday? Oh, good Lord. We do have Natalie's craft freestyle going on. So you know, how's that going to An hour work? and a half before the show, okay. which I have to look at what time I have the show posted for. You know, but, we've, we've still got weeks before this event. We just wanted to we keep do. you on. The, no, there will be posts, but, but somebody gave me sound advice that I should not put 27 posts in one day and I should just kind of put at least two or three a day. So maybe, like. maybe space so, them right. out. Not maybe not do all the posts in one day. You know, there's you've got like you 30 more days before, before your event. I so did. you 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 could you know you got time. She loves goofballs. We do. She, we do. We will, will be announcing we will golf. be announcing all about that. I think she misspelled golf. Oh, I think yeah, she, she likes mis- golf. I golf. love all you golf balls. Sheesh. Sheesh. Every so golf ball. Means. She all loves golf, golf balls. <laughs> she does. Oh, Melissa, any golf relation ball to mock balls? <sighs> so everybody, next time you're at a comp with Melissa, bring her tons of golf balls. She, she is all about it. She loves golf balls. She doesn't like <laughs> golf. But she, uh, she, no. she loves golf balls. No. Anyway, do you do you happen to have any of those trophies with you? I do mm. have at least some sneak peeks of the trophies. The trophies are not finished, and you already know that. But let's let's show people. <laughs> yeah, let's see your sneak peek because I don't have why my he, sneak peek. Why he's doing that? Let's just remind everyone. Oh yeah, subscribe over on YouTube, everyone. Come on, Go to YouTube three hundred. YouTube Talking you- Beards. Subscribe now. We want to get 300 new subscribers today for our 300th episode. All right. Let's see these trophies there, Sean Glander. So for third place, holy crap, how high do I got to hold these? We have a nice little treasure chest full of booty. It's hard to show on here, and we don't have any of the cool stuff on it yet that is going. But it will. But it will. Second place will also get some booty. Just a little bit more booty. What is the booty? Is it candy? It is not candy. It is just it is just fake booty. Oh, okay. I'm assuming all mostly acrylic and plastics. (laughs) Don't eat it. it. It's a lot of weight, especially when you get to Mr. First Place. Friggin' donuts in there. Oh my god. There is no donut. If you dig deep enough, you might find a donut. From right. Scrum Dilly up just donut shop. Wow. From the, the shop formerly known as Scrum Dilly Umptious. But yes, that is a sneak peek of the of the trophies that we are, are doing. There's a lot more coolness coming to them. <laughs> but you get to see that you're 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 gonna win some booty if you get here. There you go. Everybody can come to Spokane Valley and win some booty and a yep. cornhole tournament. Maybe if you're good you, enough. Yep. And there'll be trophies for that. Those are not made. So, <laughs> well, you should get on that as well. I, I am getting on that, but yes, those are going to be a little easier. I mean, those are, I just supplement them onto wood on the cornhole looking boards, but mm-hmm. you know, we wanted to go, we wanted to go a little bigger. I mean, I don't even know if the little sneak peek does justice for what these trophies are going to be, but we wanted to go big this year, and and people are going to bring home trophies that they're definitely going to want to display. I'll tell you that right well, now. Well, you know what they say, go big or go home, Sean Glander. Yes. You don't want anybody to go home. You want everyone no. to live with you. 
Exactly. But if, <laughs> yeah, speaking of going home, if you want to go home with me, because I'll eventually be going home that night on Saturday, we always have a nice little after, after party at my place, like four houses down from Storm and Norman's. And you it's a, you it's can a walk? pretty fun after party. It It can be. Mm-hmm. It can definitely be a good time. So there you go. We got an after party. We got pre parties. We have a uh, brunch the next day. We have everything. So if you want to go to a full filled, fun filled weekend with hotel deals, so make sure you check out the event page because we didn't even get there. Carla would be so proud that there is hotel. And they have deals. already expired as of July fifth. So well, never mind. Those hotel yeah. deals. Carla is don't go mad searching. About just get, hit, hit me up if you're looking for an area. Dead so man now. Like Gosh, never mind. No hotel deals, but there are lots of hotels in Spokane Valley, and there maybe is. if you talk really time. sweet, you can you can get a deal. Maybe enough people hit me up. We might even get an extension. So who knows? There you go. So hit up Sean Glander. You're uh, giving away beard extensions. Wow. I have not talked to Monty Minter to find out where he got his, so Mm -hmm. we are not giving nothing away at this moment. Well, he's he's definitely the person to ask because everybody knows the best extensions. He has he has extensions for sure. It's crazy. Wait, this is this breaking news. Do I what do I not know here? Everybody knows Monty uses extensions. You didn't know that? No, I did not. His nickname is Clip On. (laughs) <laughs> that talk to, was talking about the ties that he always wore underneath his nope. beard that i could never see <laughs> that was his hair clipped on oh yeah he, glad he, you actually, with ties. <laughs> he barely has a beard and he just clips it all yeah. on yeah wow. he actually doesn't even monty? have a beard yeah breaking news yep monty mentor is a bald face yes. sean glander I appreciate you. I know we could have just wandered on all night, but we're we're out of time. But everybody, I get it. You, Thanks for having me on. Thanks for helping me promote these great things for this great charity, the Two BU Youth Ranch. But uh, you're in Spokane, fourth, fifth, six. Come have fun with us. Whether whether you've ever played cornhole in your life, come check it out Friday night. And make yeah, sure me. you check out the new show, Talking Cornhole, with Sean Glander. Absolutely, it's, it's coming, the, the highest rated program. Winter time when I'm free again. <laughs> yeah, look look out for that. That's after when the, leagues. That's when leagues fire up. Winter time is when leagues are heavy. So boom. I was gonna say that that talking cornhole is gonna come on after the new episode of Bantering Beards. Bantering Beards. <laughs> Remember that <laughs> time? Remember you when you were like, <laughs> I can do Bantering Beards on Wednesday nights. I have nothing going on Wednesday nights, and we're like, cool. And then we did that show, and then you're like. I took on more cornhole responsibilities. I wasn't even. No. Okay. (laughs) Anyway, (laughs) it's all good, John. I wasn't the only one that was getting busy. (laughs) Talking cornhole, Jean Glander. Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) And uh, yeah, have a great night. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye, Bye. Sean. Thank you. Yeah, so uh, August 5th, Spokane Valley, Washington, Storm and Norman's Ship Face Saloon. Benefiting, benefiting to be you youth ranch. It's going to be a fun filled weekend, Scott. What do you think that girl is saying to that horse in that picture? Or are they just <laughs> what are you at talking about? I see the it now. Bottom right corner. I see it. I see it. She's like, horse, I appreciate you for being a horse. And the horse is like, really? yeah. Thanks for combing my hair to the thanks side. For, thanks for giving me a comb over. I appreciate it. Like that. Gosh. Speaking anyway. of comb overs. Speaking of, there's a great video. Do you want to watch this video? Sure. Why not? Yeah. So, uh, watch this video. <laughs> Couple is taking over the beard world. Aaron and Natalie Johnston, competitive beard growers, they've taken home the gold in several competitions. Will Volt caught up with the duo to find out how they started this hobby. Natalie and Aaron Johnston bond over beards. We do this together, and who would have ever thought that our our hobby would have been making beards and and doing beard stuff? They would have never imagined this 15 years ago. I would have imagined it. Aaron couldn't even grow a beard back then because of his job. 
Now beards are his job. I'm just a nervous wreck the whole just time. Brushing your goatee. Just brush and brush, brush, brush. and brush. <laughs> brush Probably brush. too much. The walls of his home are covered with trophies, including a world championship. His wife, Natalie, is a winner, too. And no, That's she Natalie. doesn't grow her beards. Yeah. She makes them. What? A lot of us enjoy just dressing up, being a princess on stage who just happens to have a giant beard. For Natalie, bearding with her husband is more than a fun hobby. It's an escape. She has stage four kidney disease. I'm in pain nonstop. I'm constantly seeing doctors. But this bearding has really, it gives me something to look forward to. As she waits for a transplant, Natalie says bearding is helping her get through a tough time. Bearding is just keeping me going. That's it. It's it's keeping her going. It's keeping us going. It. It's definitely uh, an adventure over here all the time. The Johnstons are grateful for all the adventures they've had. They never expected bearding would be their life. They're so happy it is. In Aiken, Will Volt, on your side. That was a great, very, I really, really, that's probably one of the best, I think, TV appearances that you've had. I love that. Thanks. I thought it was pretty good. We enjoyed it. Uh, it was pretty cool having having uh, him come over, and he was dude. He was just dumbfounded. He just walked around, just looking at stuff like he just couldn't believe all the crap we got on our walls because it's definitely a lot. <laughs> could he could he believe that really awesome like towel that you have in your bathroom too? Like, do you have a four year old? What's wrong with my towel? <laughs> it's like Avengers or something. I don't know. Was... You don't know what your towel is. It's an Avengers towel. Was it was it an Avengers towel? Yeah. I thought it was. I couldn't remember. Sorry, I, I got a toucan Sam one. That's my towel for when I wash my hands. My like, towel. Shh, shh, shh. Do you guys live in a museum? It's my <gasps> towel. Oh my, oh my god, Lisa Fajnot. Wow. She, she's a world champion. She's here. But yeah, it's not a museum, Scott Sakura. It's, it's not. not. Natalie has not the museum it time and time again. It's but, not uh, the museum. Yeah. We'll have one more of those for you next week to to dissect and and put together and hopefully it's as good as that one because that one was pretty good i i really enjoyed that piece i thought it was well done well but, done well done well, that that's about it that's about that's all about i got it. that's about it so uh any any thoughts on who's going to be with us next week I don't about know. People in the crowd, the people that are watching right now, does anyone have any idea for a guest for next week? I mean, That's a great idea. We don't really have a lot of competitions coming up. Not yet. We, we've got a few. Um, but yeah, who would you like to see on the show? Any anybody that's watching? You uh you could leave it in the comments too, like on YouTube. I can go back and look at those comments or Facebook yeah. or, or whatever. But yeah, who who would be a good guest? Who would y'all like to see? <clears throat> but, yeah, I mean, don't forget to subscribe now because, uh, I mean, right. if you leave a comment, you can't leave a comment if you don't subscribe. That's right. You got to subscribe. You have to. You have to subscribe. Gosh, we're still at three ninety nine. We're not. I know, dude. I keep checking. <laughs> Me too. Ah. I'm like, what are we doing? Can we just get one more person to subscribe for us? Come on, or- Melissa. Get your daughter to subscribe. Subscribe to us. Just tell her it's me. She'll she'll definitely do it for sure. And then sure, we can be like, you know what? You did it. Did it. <laughs> so, anyways, I'm Scott Score, everyone. Uh, once again, go visit us at talkingbeards.com or follow us over at Facebook or YouTube, preferably YouTube. Um, and check out talkingbeards.com. Make sure that you guys uh go over. We did it. We oh we 400, so- baby. We are officially a official YouTube show now. This is the most amazing day ever. Yeah, I don't know why we've struggled so hard with getting people on YouTube. Like it was yeah. no problem to get to like two hundred thousand followers on Facebook, but it's like <laughs> but but face but YouTube we can't four hundred. Oh my god, it's like four hundred one is going to be our nemesis now. Yeah, and if I can figure out. Who number four hundred was? I'll send you something if you're oh, you're watching. So you can. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you who it was. Who was it? Who was number number four hundred? Mike something. Baker says YouTube where it's at. What's up, Mike Baker? 
But yeah, while Scott's finding that, I am Aaron D. Johnston. Thank you for watching Talking Beards tonight. And uh, yeah, following all of our stuff, the the beer calendar, honestamish.com, all of our YouTubes, and and find me over there on Aaron D. Johnson, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and uh, Threads. Threads is a thing now. I don't know if it's actually going to take off. We shall see. But yeah. Did, did we find out who number 400 is, Scott? I. Uh- all I see is new subscriber Robin Bone, but that was uh, 49 minutes ago. Well, we'll figure it out probably. But yeah, I'm Aaron D. Johnston. Thank you for watching tonight. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next week with with a guest. I don't know. May- maybe we'll do Lisa. Who knows? We'll find out. Honestamish.com, promo code TalkingBeards for 15%. Don't forget to go to thebeardcalendar.com to check out all the events that are going on worldwide or to submit events. Don't forget to go over our YouTube page and check out the July beard calendar. And that's it. That's it. Everybody have a great night. Talk to you later. Oh, goodbye. Goodbye. Thanks for tuning into talking beards. Make sure you go over to honestamish.com and use promo code talking beards to get 15% off your order. Don't forget to tune in live next Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern at talkingbeards.com.